Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today I've got a very interesting creation to show you, something that's designed by Leo on the Steam Workshop, and he's made a whole variety of designs, both in Space Engineers, and he's just started work on some in Medieval Engineers as well, and I'm very excited about that because some of his designs are spectacular, just like the one we're going to see here. Now, have you ever heard of a catapult? Of course you have! But have you ever heard of a Gatling catapult? Well, that'd be a first for me as well. Now the idea of this system is to use a variety of the spoons or the little cups to actually cup each of the projectiles as it rotates. It meets this point here, as you can see the actual pocket for the ball is cocked and wound back on the torsion bar. So each torsion bar as it reaches this point is rotated back. Then using the rope pulley system or the sort of rope belt, this little wheel pulls this much larger wheel that in turn feeds the rounds in at the correct moment in time that fires the big stone sort of ball. It is incredible and I'm not going to wait any longer, I'm just going to show you it firing. So we'll actually get in here, aim at the center, we'll start that rotor up and you can see how the system works. You see how it, it cocks back each of the components on the torsion bar, it drops the ball in, you can see how this feeding mechanism filters the balls out so only one at a time can actually be dropped and it drops it perfectly right into the top of the spoon and you can see as it's fired across there it's doing a considerable amount of damage and it's very fast very accurate now this leads me to the point of why was something like this not built at the time I mean maybe you can answer that but it just seems such an effective way of launching such a volley of catap sort of catapult balls at one time and the way of reloading it's so easy as well so if we bring up our um, balls for instance and we bring them close to us and we just drop them down the feed tray here you can see how it just instantly feeds them into the system and if you were under siege in a sort of castle in medieval engineers from one of these machines it would be a really annoying sort of siege because the rate of fire would be absolutely ridiculous you'd have your walls down within minutes now one of the problems about this system is of course a mobility since it's using this rotary drive system it means it means to, it has to be quite static unless you can get a big enough cart for it to mount onto since the gravity is also pulling the ball downwards it means you can't rotate it around any other ways but i'm sure a cart system will be coming along next but it's just such a beautiful system so uncomplicated and you can see how each ball is just dropped and fired at such a velocity into the target just really cool and i wanted to show you this now there's a link for this in the description so you can check it out and download it for yourself and have a mess around but i just want to thank leo for this sort of awesome little creation and how simplistic but effective it actually is so let's drop ourselves in a last line of balls so bring up jay and just let them roll down there into the feed tray so there we go a few more in there and we can actually fire them Maybe there'll be some way of changing the trajectory by messing around with how the feed tray actually loads them or at which point this system picks them up, maybe by reversing it a little bit back and then catching it lower or releasing them further up. Just really cool to have a look at as you can see. Let's actually have a stand on the wall and see how it feels to be launched towards us. So there you go, we've got one more ball being dropped down into the chamber. And it's going launched into the area below as the castle's crumbling underneath each shot. Just really cool. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.